All right, I got called an alarmist for that video I did a couple years ago with the Bandmaster and the light bulb. So we're just going to run through this real quick and I'll show you something. Right now, we've got the light bulb hooked up to the chassis and the light bulb's grounded up to the plug there with the screw in it. It looks really safe, but who cares? Okay, um, here's the deal. The Bandmaster does not have a shorted depth cap. It has a shunted depth cap. I've just got a wire on it just to show you this. And yeah, that video was a bit of an alarmist thing I did. Somebody wanted to know what happens when a depth cap shorts. Didn't think it was a big deal. I showed them what can happen. Okay. Now, right now, light bulb's off. We'll flip the plug over. The amp is off, too. Bear that in mind. Okay, there we go. The amp is shut off. Light bulb's on. There's 120 volts all over this chassis. It's on the guitar, which I don't have plugged in right now. You saw it on the last video. Okay, turn the amp on. Amp's on. Light's on. Now, the other thing on a fender, flip over your uh, polarity switch. Light goes off. Polarity switch, flipping the plug, same thing. Anyway, I just thought I'd show that. And here's the deal. You plug into a two-prong amp, you fiddle around with your polarity switch, or you flip your plug till it doesn't hum, right? Okay, it's going to hum the most when the chassis is live. So that's why if you set it up right, you won't get shocked. But your best bet is to put a grounded cord on the damn things. At that point, if you want to leave the depth cap on, you can if it does short, it'll take out the fuse in the fuse box. So it's probably not really an issue. And the other thing is live chassis amps, like those piece of shit little K's, crap like that. Those chassis are live all the time. I'm going to unplug this so I don't touch it. They're live all the time because the heaters are wired in series with the power cord. I don't have one here right now or I'd show you that. You have to use an isolated transformer with those. You can, if you're careful, and you plug it in right every frickin' time, you won't have an issue. But if it gets plugged in wrong and you leave your guitar plugged in or your amp, everything here is live, regardless of whether or not you have the amp turned on. That's where the danger is. Okay, you guys got that now? Thank you.